Hey guys, welcome back to Brand's YouTube channel. Today is a exciting video. Um, it is where it is um, going to be how to keep a grasshopper as a pet. So um, th we today, as our demonstration, we have one of our um, one of our grasshopper pets here. Well, one of our grasshopper pets here. He lost his two legs when we caught yeah, him. he's not here. here. But here. Um, his name's Hopper. He he is very fun to play with. He cannot jump, like I said, because he lost his hind legs when we caught him. <gasps> Gosh. And yeah, so let's get into the video. Before we go back to anything else, we're, I want to tell you, if your grasshopper's hind legs fall off, it is okay. They don't even feel it, and their legs will sometimes grow back when they molt. This guy's actually gonna start molting soon. His his um his skin is starting to get harder and getting darker. Mm -hmm. So we think he's gonna start molting soon. I and yeah, so his hind legs, if they release and you're just holding his leg, you you might accidentally just be holding his legs and then he falls and all you have is his leg. That's his leg. He can't they don't even feel it. They can live the rest of their lives without their hind legs they use it as an attack a, a tactic when predators grab them by the legs sometimes they'll just fall but yeah so that that's what i just wanted to tell you guys that but yeah subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into the video right now okay guys so immediately whenever you catch your grasshopper um you're going to want to get him a habitat to live in this is a um, bottle. This plastic is just the top. So he's, he doesn't really have that as habitat. But this is his habitat. You should immediately give him a habitat. You should, Actually, before plan, you should probably give him a... You should probably make their habitat at, before you catch them. So um, we, had, we put dirt in the bottom layer, which is great because it's soft. Topsoil. And then we put leaves and and grass all in as a padding and then we put one rock in just to climb on we put we put in a sliced um not ripe tomato because they enjoy that i'll tell you the diet later but and then this big stick that has multiple branches on it for him to climb he's gonna want something to climb everybody and give him a little food source so at night when you're sleeping he can eat i forgot to tell you guys one thing hopper is a is a oak um an oak bush cr cricket his species is cricket but he's considered a grasshopper because he's green so yeah i just wanted to tell you guys that. so you're gonna want to be able to feed your grasshopper cricket immediately because they're going to be hungry um and as you can see, we have a plate and we have a few slices of cantaloupe, juicy cantaloupe. And he really likes cantaloupe. He spent, he literally spent two hours sucking on the cantaloupe. But um, let me name a few things that are great for crickets and grasshoppers. A apples, juicy apples. Make sure the fruits are really juicy. It's apples, um, orange slices, tangerine slices, um, um, cantaloupe, berries, blueberries, raspberries, uh, blackberries, strawberries, pretty much any, every, ju oh, watermelon, watermelon, that's a good one, pretty much every single juicy, juicy fruit, um, your, 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 um, cr um, crickets and grasshoppers, they tend to like juicy foods, so don't even, don't even, don't even, don't even um, bother to make water because they get a lot of their water from their juicy fruits. They also eat herbs, aphids, lar and other beetle, other well actually other other larva plants. Um, so yes, you can feed them that. To this part, I'm not gonna have to show you, but I will show you. And I'll take a picture of it. But make sure your grasshopper. Um, gets enough exercise a day so it can um, so it's it's not just trapped up let it out of its cage probably about 
I mean, a lot a day. Only, I mean, if it's possible, only, um, if it's possible, take them out it's until nighttime when you can't have them out. But, uh, yeah, so. So, another thing for exercise you can do is this. An exercising course. A little course that your that your um cricket or grasshopper can do to help them Ooh, practice, stopped. put some rocks on it, maybe maybe um you know some challenges, big rocks, high rocks on them, maybe at the end put a little slice of tangerine because they love that. That love that stuff. There's a little crossing that's hard to use. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. So the last thing of of this tutorial I want to say is that the the last thing that they need is care. You need to make sure to watch it every don't day. Do not feed it every day. Make sure to cut your slices of fruit every day to give it a nice juicy flavor and give it exercise if you're going on long trips. Maybe, maybe if it's possible, bring bring your cricket or grasshopper with you so he doesn't um, starve to death. But yeah, so there's um, one more thing I want to tell you. If you keep a, well, at least our species of grasshopper, the oak bush cricket, if you keep, if you keep them all, um, um, sorry, if you have good care for it, he can live a long seven years. If you keep even better care, it can be eight years. But he doesn't live long in the wild, so always be ready to rescue a little guy. So, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.